Uh, okay, so I don't know how to <laughs> go about this anymore. And uh, yeah, this is my second take for this particular video. Um, it serves me right because I'm not as sharp as I used to be. I thought I had done the settings right for my sound. I finished recording a whole almost seven minutes talk and I didn't click or I didn't select the right channel for my sound recording, which I need to. Yeah, it's on. So yeah, I don't know if I should say it's good to be back because I don't know if that's how I feel, but I haven't recorded in a video in about five months. And I don't know how you guys are doing. Um, apologies for everybody who, uh, to everybody who has been looking forward to content, especially from Elaine and I, uh, who has not been getting it. Um, I receive a lot of comments and engagement from my old videos, like the ones um, on voiceovers. So yes, uh, thank you very much for watching those videos. I'm going to try as much as possible to come up with a lot more, not promising anything. Yeah, not promising anything. Um, to come up with some uh, videos for you guys to also enjoy. And as well as um, the contents Elaine and I used to make, we're going to um, hopefully come back as well before the year ends. Um, mental health conversations, which I do on my other channel, which is Asitna, I'm also going to come back with those as well. But what kind of year has it been? That is why I'm doing this video. It's been a weird year in a, in a challenging, good um way if i should put it that way because um i started a year on the back of a previous year which was quite prolific in terms of content creation and doing so much and i thought you know it's just going to continue on the same tangent i'm going to create my content um i had actually hoped that on on making documentaries especially for clients work i'd do less of that uh, I, I don't know if I put that out in the universe, but it picked it up and I'm doing less of that. But with the time that I had on my hands, I decided to venture into the narrative space for filmmaking. And I ended up making my first short film, which is Jolt. And Jolt was very massively well received. I, I'm like, I'm still blown away by how well Jolt was received. And it's still um, enjoying a good festival run. Um, there's something I'm going to, or this is something I'm going to share with you. Um, later on because it's not all you know fun so my experiences with the festival run and everything which is exactly why I wanted to make this film to test it out is something I want to share with you at some point because every now and then I do share my wins some of the selections we've got we've gone as far as the semi-final uh, position in one of the festivals all these beautiful stuff but on the back end there are also a lot of disappointments as well I mean if not more disappointment than selections but of course i share the wins with you it's nice because you supported it but i'm going to let you know the importance of making such a project what you need to know the importance of festivals and all these things in a separate video hopefully one time so yeah um that's one of the things i've been up to um voiceovers as usual every now and then there's one coming in you know that's income and um, I joined the AU Media Fellowship as well. So most of the things I've been doing are more on the quality than the quantity. So I'm doing less now, but they are more tasking and more challenging and takes longer. So the AU Media Fellowship is a media fellowship program for media practitioners, content creators, filmmakers um, who were selected from uh, about 800 applicants from different African countries and uh, to get training on how to tell their own stories in a better way, tell their, their own African stories. The African narrative is, is the key um, uh, topic or this is the key theme here, the African narrative, especially Africa of the future. What is the Africa of the future? What is Africa you want? So that's a program I've joined as a filmmaker and there are a lot of uh, incredible journalists and content creators on there as well. Um, and it's being um, organized by the AU with... Uh, support from GIZ. So it's, it's such an incredible um, opportunity for me as well to be a part of such a thing. So these are some of the things I've been up to this year instead of, you know, creating a lot of the content that um, I would usually create. And generally, I would say honestly, in all honesty, that I've not um, really felt um, like doing so much more with um, YouTube as much as I wanted to, which is also fine. But um, yeah, I will definitely come back, um, especially with the mental health conversations. It's something I want to pick up again before the year ends. 
hopefully there's something else that we do which is elaine and i uh, with our videos that would also happen before the year ends and a few other videos if i can put them together not promising anything not promising anything but um yeah today i was here and i felt you know the last time i took my camera out i dusted it and i put it back <laughs> maybe today i need to set up and record a video so here we are the last time we spoke my hair wasn't this long i had a nose piercing yeah my hair wasn't wasn't this long and now it's this long so things have changed and i hope you guys are having a actually you know what nah <laughs> i hope you're having a good year but I know the economic uh, conditions at the moment are not very favorable. But I hope you are managing very well through all these. Yeah, I, I will not. Yeah, I, I hope you understand. So yeah, if this is your first time watching this channel, my name is Kwame. I forgot to even do the introduction. This thing is not easy. But yeah, my name is Kwame. I'm a filmmaker and a voiceover artist. And um, yeah. I think I'll end it here because I'm blabbing now and I don't know how to even end it. That's it. That's it. Catch you in the next video. Hopefully soon. Bye-bye.